do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we have a very crazy, crazy, crazy video. This girl, or this wife, cheated on her husband because she thought that he cheated on her. So she did it to get back on him, but apparently he never cheated. So now she just cheated. And I think he's mad, extremely. I don't know. We finna watch this video. This is crazy to me. That's 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 why you gotta always you, you always gotta validify validify valid you always gotta validate why'd i say validify you always gotta validate yo yo accusations before you go ahead and do something stupid because she did something stupid and she is reaping the consequences of that be finna watch this i'm very excited to watch this video smash the like button if you're excited to watch it too and without further ado let's just hop right into this i 28f cheated because i thought my husband 33m cheated he has left the house and has not said a single word to me Please help. I have been together with my husband for over six years. Dang. We have been married for four years and have Dang. a 20 month old son together. Dang. We met through at a friend's home party and connected almost immediately. Dang. He started talking to me first. Dang. Even the first time meeting him, he was incredibly handsome, oh. very confident and charming. Ah. I know several of the girls, including some of my friends, wanting to talk to him when we were there. Dang. Within the first 10 minutes of arriving to the party, he came over to me. Yeah. I really don't know any perfect word to use of how I felt at that moment, but if I had to pick I felt almost chosen by him. Ooh. We started dating a few days after and the more time we started spending together the more I started to fall for him. Dang. I have always had the feeling of him being completely out of my league. Yeah, but I, him, he never really made I'm just talking. <laughs> but she's describing her perfect man. But she's saying that he was the catch. That like everybody wanted him and he chose her. And then you did something stupid and messed it up. That's how it always ends. Me feel unsure that he wanted to be with me. I knew in beforehand he had been with plenty of women, but it didn't really bother me because he never spoke of it or ever mentioned it. The few times I asked him if he really wanted a relationship or if he was sure about us, he always told me he loved me and that he does not care about other women. After two years, we ended up getting married. We tried having a child and got a beautiful son. He always wished to have a son and a daughter, and we were planning on having another child. Not finna have another one. I always loved my husband more than anyone can imagine. But after giving birth, I gained a bit of weight. Dang. He always told me he didn't care and that he loved me no matter what. See, this is the problem. I can already tell you, she's super, super, super insecure. And her insecurities caused her to just keep doubting the things that he said. Now, people, men, women, you have to understand this. Your insecurities, if people are telling you the complete opposite, or if, especially if it's your significant other and they're not, and you know they're not lying, like, well, you don't know they're not lying because you're insecure. But if they're your significant other, you should trust them. If you get freaking fat and they still say you're beautiful, believe them. You have to. Because if not, you're going to burn yourself into a freaking ditch. Just believe them. You have to trust them enough to believe them. You know what I'm saying? Now, if your significant other is a psychopathic liar and you get super, super fat and they say, oh, you're still beautiful, go to the, go to the gym. Don't believe them because they probably don't think they're probably, they, let me not say they're probably cheating on you. I don't want to get in nobody's head. But, like, realistically, for real, like, your insecurities can really mess up your whole relationship. And this is something that guys and girls have to work on. You have to be very secure in yourself. And you have to trust your, your partner to know that they're not lying to you. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to say you, 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 I wouldn't cheat on you or, well, they would say that. But I, I'm not really helping, am I? But if you're insecure, do everything you can to become secure in yourself. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. You need to. Did I could start training with him. He goes Memory to the gym wine, at least four wine. to five times times a week. He always told me he didn't care and that he loved me no matter what. He suggested I could start training with him. He goes to the gym at least four to five times a week and that we could start this as an activity together. I always said yes, but we never ended up going together for several different reasons. He never got out of shape and regularly went training in the gym without trying to invite me there. As time moved on and the baby was taking most of our time, our sex life got less and less, but he Man. always assured me that he was still attracted to me. Most of the time, he would try to initiate sex, but I would turn it down, mostly because of myself and because... That's the problem. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? I said this before in a video. <sighs> An empty car can't drive anywhere. If you keep your husband empty, there's no possible way he can cheat. Dudes, you know this. That, that, that post-nut clarity, you don't even think about that no more. You, you're just thinking about freaking 
not, you're not thinking about that at all. So if you always on E, you ain't got nobody to see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I was insecure about my body and myself around him. This is still a huge regret for me. He even told me we could leave the baby at our parents, his or mine, to get alone time, but for some reason I kept neglecting him, my self-esteem kept becoming worse and worse, and he was trying to cheer me up and encouraging me. When we would go out somewhere I could see other women looking at him were trying to make eye contact with him and it would bother me and I would tell him about it and he would ensure me he only loved me. You gotta believe One that too though. One day as he came home from work, long work hours at the hospital, and he went straight to bed telling me he is exhausted. I started looking into his phone and looking in his Instagram and messenger messages and I could see several chats with different women, some of who I know are his ex-girlfriends. Dang, oh, maybe he did cheat. Maybe I'm, I got this whole thing wrong. Did he cheat? Chat, did he cheat? I'm saying chat. I don't even got a freaking chat. This ain't live. He had been asked to go meet for a coffee or if they would want to meet up somewhere just as friends, but he always turned them down. Oh, he ain't cheap. I even saw archived messages of an ex who had messaged him out of the blue and asked if he wanted to meet up for good times, which is referring to sex. Of course. He had responded with, I have a wife and blocked her. This is a good dude. This is a great dude. And you're going to fumble the bag. This is, you're seeing the proof of his greatness as a person. I really don't know why, but in my head I started making up that he must have been cheating on me with at least one of these girls. I ended up contacting an ex-boyfriend who I oh, hadn't talked no. to for years. From those messages? The proof that you just saw from those messages, you assumed that he cheated? What did you see? He said no to everything. What are you assuming? How are you assuming that he's a cheater? How are you assuming? He saw all the messages. How are you assuming he's a cheater if you saw all the messages? What? And all of them said no. If he was a cheater, he's he's not he's not choosing who he cheats on. If there's if he's a cheater, he's clapping every single one of them. One thing led to another, and we met up at a hotel close by. At first, I just wanted some sort of payback, but as we ended up having sex, but I was with incredible regret. This all happened during the day, and my husband was at work and had- Payback for what? Nothing freaking happened. There was no proof of nothing. There was nothing even close or remotely close to nothing. He literally blocked the ex. He said, no, I have a wife, and blocked her. This is pissing me off. This girl is so freaking stupid. No idea and never had a suspicion. It took me three days, and as he came home one day, and we were in front of the television, I started crying and told him everything. He just kept looking at me but didn't say a single word, went upstairs and locked the door to our bedroom. I followed him and was crying at the door, but he didn't say a single word to me. He shouldn't. It took him a long time, but he finally came out, but immediately left the house and I haven't heard a single word from him. Good. He didn't even say anything to me when leaving and was not even looking at me. I have tried to call he him. He probably went to go get some yeeks. Maybe. Maybe he's doing the payback now. You was doing payback for him cheating when he never cheated, but then you cheated on him, so now he's getting the payback, and he's doing it 15 times over because he got options. And from what it seems like, you might not have a lot. ...him at least hundreds of times, but he still hasn't responded, and I have no idea where he has gone. This all happened yesterday, and I haven't heard a word from him. I am scared to contact his or my own family because I am scared for them to find out. Please, I really don't know what to do and just want to save my marriage. I have an incredible feeling of disgust and regret and I don't even know why I didn't trust him. I know most of this roots down in my own insecurities, but I just want my husband back. He has left me alone with our baby. How can I get in contact with him? Yeah, the baby part, he shouldn't leave the baby like that. But I understand, you know what I'm saying? He got to get his mind right. But he eventually got to come back and like get the baby because <sighs> that's not right. But still, like, you got to give him time. What can I do to save my marriage? Nothing. I apologize once again for bad grammar. My native language is not English and I am crying as I write this. Update. Hi, sorry for the lack of response on my last post, but my life has been completely ruined. <laughs> no, I duh. won't share any more posts on other sections, such as relationship advice and such. You definitely should have never been sending relationship advice anywhere. What? <laughs> Wait, am I missing something? Is there something missing that I'm missing? See this, I told y'all, man, y'all can't, y'all can't let y'all insecurities get in between y'all relationship. You can't, you have to trust your partner. And if your partner says they love you, they love you. If your partner says that you're beautiful, you're beautiful. If your partner says, um, they, 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 they don't even want you to have abs. They trust them. You know what I'm saying? Trust them and trust them. 
Get your, get your security right, man. Get your insecurity right, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Should he give her another chance? I'm saying... Uh, no, he shouldn't. But he... he, sh he sh she didn't do it, like, m mischievously. You know what I'm saying? She did it as payback, which is different than, like, doing it regularly. So in my head, it's like, if you can fix your insecurities, we could try again. We could try again. But if you can't, I have plenty other options. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe that's wrong to think that way. But he definitely need to go back for that kid. I ain't gonna lie to you. You can't be out of the kid's life because of what the mama did. But that's the end of it. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, though, I highly suggest you watch this video right here. This just just watch it. I'm, I don't want to spoil it. Everybody keeps saying I spoil it at the end of my videos. I'm not going to spoil it. Just watch it. You see the thumbnail. It's freaking crazy. You know, every video I put out is ridiculously entertaining. So go watch it. But that's about it. I'm going to see y'all out.